Wow. That's how I feel about this book. It's so good. Well, hello, people of the internet. My name is Kevin, and welcome back to another video. Okay, guys, so for today's video, I am bringing you the... Every video that you see around this time of year, I was hoping to get up in December, but alas, we're getting up now. And that is my favorite books of 2021. Now, I usually do like a list of like a top 10 books, but for 2021, I really just had three books that stood out to me as like, they're the three books I kept thinking about all year when I read them. So I was like, you know what, this year I'm just gonna do the top three books of 2021 and that's it because they're literally my three favorite books I read last year and they're the three that I just could not stop thinking about ever since I read them and I need to share them with you guys and I need you all to go read them if you haven't read them already. But real quick before we get into all of that I do want to thank today's sponsor which is Book of the Month. So thank you so so much to Book of the Month for sponsoring another video of mine. So if you don't know what Book of the Month is, it is an online book subscription service. Their mission is to find new and upcoming authors and to help readers find the next book that they're going to love. How it works is that the Book of the Month team wade through hundreds and hundreds of different books every single month and they help curate a list of books which their readers and their subscribers can then pick a book every single month from that list and you basically get that book and it is your Book of the Month. And by them do Doing this curated list for you it helps you stop spending so much time researching and trying to find the next book you need to read and basically just means you can spend less time researching and more time actually reading one thing that I love about book of the month is that it is completely risk-free meaning that if there's a particular month where you would like to skip it you can do so at your own choice and you will not be charged for that particular month now these are the six books that are selected for book of the month this month including the added book which is a book you can pick if you are a new subscriber or if you already are a monthly subscriber you can add this one on to your current book that you're already picking and that is The Made by Nita Prose. However, the two that I actually am most excited for and the two that I would have picked for my book of the month is Love and Other Disasters by Anita Kelly. Now this is one that just sounds so good. It is also their romance pick for the month. They always have at least one romance book on their list every single month and I obviously love the romance genre in books. Basically it follows these two characters who are taking part in this reality cooking competition and I'm assuming they fall in love. Also one of the characters is non-binary as well which we just love to see and so I'm just so excited to read this one. And then the other one that I'm really excited about that they had was Rectus Girls by Rachel Hawkins. This one when I heard what it was about I was like yep this sounds like something I would really enjoy. It basically follows these six characters who go to this island and suddenly one of them goes missing and one of them turns up dead and then the rest of them start roaming this island trying to figure out all the different mysteries and what's going on in this paradise that they believe they were on but yeah these two in particular definitely would have been the ones that I would have picked for my book of the month this month because these both sound so good. Now currently book of the month are only shipping to US addresses so if you're able to get it I would highly recommend that you do so. I'm also aware that the main demographic on my channel are people from the US so if you haven't already tried book of the month I would highly recommend that you do and you should definitely go check the link out down below on my bio where you can use the code let's go and get your first book of the month for $9.99 which is just amazing because like book of the month is one of the best places to get brand new hardcover fiction for such an amazing price like $9.99 for a new hardcover book that's stunning definitely highly recommend that you check it out and use code let's go to get your first book for $9.99 so yeah thank you once again to book of the month for sponsoring this video okay so now let's get into the three books that were the best books of 2021 for me and really really want you guys to read them if you haven't already read them so go read them these are the three books that you need to read yeah just yeah. So this is going to be in an order. So I'm going to start from number three up to number one. So number three being like my third favorite, number two being my second favorite, number one being my number one favorite book that I read last year. But I did love all three of these. These were all five star books for me. So yeah, just know that. So the first one that I have is Normal People by Sally Rooney. Now this is one, honestly, if you had told me at the start of like 2021 that this was going to be on my favorite books of the year, I wouldn't have like believed you or anything because I was so against reading this for such a long time because I just didn't think it was going to be a book for me. Based on what I heard about the book and people saying like it's just really hard to get into, the writing style is really strange and all that kind of stuff, I was like no it's just not going to be a book for me. And then also just when I've seen like the hype around the TV show and everything, I saw like little snippets of the show and I was just like, nah, I don't think I like this. And then my friends started to read it and they were obsessed with it. And I was like, you know what? 
I need to read it and see what I'm gonna think for myself. And I'm so glad that I did because I haven't stopped thinking about these characters like ever. Whenever I'm listening to music, <laughs> like any song, I am always just thinking of Marianne and Connell. Like I'm literally envisioning them every time through every lyric. Like I did it with Enchanted by Taylor Swift. I list I thought about Marianne and Connell. August, I thought about Marianne and Connell. Cardigan, Marianne and Connell. Like everything I listen to or any song, I usually will try and make it relate back to Mariana Connell in some way and honestly it's becoming quite concerning I do it all the time but if you don't know what this book is about basically it follows these two characters Mariana and Connell mainly Marianne she's like your main character and then Connell obviously is just the main male character in the book and it basically just follows their lives so you start with them when they're in secondary school or high school and you follow them up until they've graduated from college and it's just basically them navigating their world them trying to be together and then not being able to be together and all of the different turmoils and things that come in between them there's a lot of different things as well so definitely look up the trigger warnings for this because it can be quite a heavy book to read as well and i think it's just one if you're in the right mindset to read it it's just gonna be one that's gonna really really stick with you and one that would just last for you for a long, long time. It also really has the trope, right person, wrong time. So if that's a trope and stuff that you like in books, this is probably one that you should definitely check out. Another thing as well that I've seen a lot of people say about this book is that they don't really like the romance and stuff, but that's not my main takeaway from this book. Yes, like I just said, I constantly think about the two characters and every song I listen to, I pair it back to them. But the main takeaway from this book for me is it's depiction of like depression and anxiety and stuff like that and the amazing quotes that are in here as well. Loads of different parts that dealt with those things really resonated with me and I really connected to the character Marianne. I feel like I had a lot of similarities to Marianne and I could really like, relate to her character. So I think that that's honestly my main takeaway is just the characters and how I connected to them, especially Marianne. But that's my main takeaway from it and that's why I really resonated with it. But it is one of those books that it's either you're going to really like it or you're probably going to absolutely hate it. If it is one that you have been thinking about trying I would definitely say give it a go also once again make sure you look up the trigger warnings and yeah hopefully you will love it I still haven't watched the TV show on it which I really really need to do and also I did a full spoiler filled reading vlog on this so if you want to see my thoughts when I read this book I'll leave the link to the video down below so you can go check the video out if you want to know all of my thoughts now coming in at number two for my top books of 2021, we have got The Spanish Love Deception by Elena Armas. Now, this book absolutely ruined romance forever for me because I have too high expectations now for men because of this book. I need an Aaron Blackford in my life and I will not settle for anything less because that's what I deserve. That's what we all deserve. We all deserve to be treated like amazing human beings in our relationships. And that's what I want. I want an Aaron Blackford. Thank you. If anyone can like, you know, direct me to where I can go find one, that would be much appreciated. And I would just love that. I read this for a video where I was reading books that TikTok recommended to me. So once again, I'll leave that video link down below if you want to see when I was reading this in real time. There's no spoilers in the video, so you won't get spoiled if you haven't read it yet. But if you just want to see my reactions to when I was reading it, you can go check that video out down below. If you like adult romance books and you haven't picked this up yet, you should definitely do it. Because this is just, let me do my, my wow. Wow! That's how I feel about this book. It's so good. So if you like the fake dating trope in romance books, and if you also like a slow burn romance books, and if you also like enemies to lovers, also if you like the trope, I hate everyone but her, read it. Just read it. It basically follows these two main characters, Catalina and Aaron Blackford. Sorry, I can't ever just say Aaron. I have to say Aaron Blackford. That's his last name. And I just always have to say it because I just can't call him just Aaron. He's Aaron Blackford to me. I'm very sorry. That's probably going to get annoying, but he's just always going to be known as Aaron Blackford to me. But basically it follows them and they both work in this office. I can't remember exactly what their job is. I just know they work in an office. And Catalina is going back home for her sister's wedding, but she has no date to the wedding. And her family and stuff always say like how she doesn't have her partner or anything and they just want her to be in a relationship. And she really wants to have someone to go with her to the wedding. So Aaron volunteers to go with her and to be her fake boyfriend. That's all you need to know. It's just so good. And the slow burn in here is just stunning. Elena Armas just gets everything. She gets the movements correctly, like the way she describes Aaron at certain points in it. You're just like, wow, what a man. And I just need to warn you that once you've finished it, you are going to be a bit sad and angry probably because 
it's made your expectations for men so high. It's also just made you sad because, like, I have never seen an Aaron Blackford in my life and it makes me sad that they don't exist and yeah I'm also planning to reread this very very soon because I just need to and yeah highly recommend that you read it and also Elena Aramis has a new one coming out this year as well which I'm so excited to read. Once again if it wasn't already clear you need to read this if you love romance books. And coming in at number one my number one favourite book of the entire year of 2021 is none other than Starfish by Akimi Don Bowman. This book... This book. This is a book that I read at the perfect time for myself to read. It was a very cathartic read for me when I was reading it. I could relate to so many things that the main character was going through. I highlighted many moments in this book. There's one section in here where I've underlined so many different things. But I also wrote a note because I had so many thoughts and so many things that I could relate to in this book that I just didn't have space to write anything on the book. So I wrote it on a piece of paper and I've included it on this page to whenever I'm reading it again to go back and, you know, revisit my thoughts and how I was feeling in that exact moment. And this book is about this main character named Kiko who is obsessed with art. She loves art with everything in her being. It's like her main passion in life. And she really wants to get into this really pristine college called Prism. And she applies to that and she doesn't get in. And then she doesn't know what to do then because she thought that was her only way out. That was what she was going to do with her life. And then one of her old friends, she like reunites with him and like catches up with him again and she moves to the west coast of America and she begins to explore new things while there and explore new things about herself. She also does not have the best relationship with her mother and she's also dealing with a lot of stuff that's going on in there. There's also a lot of childhood trauma that she has to deal with so once again for this book there's a lot of trigger warnings, so definitely look all of those up. There's like a lot about anxiety, depression, sexual assault. There's just a lot in here, so definitely I would highly recommend you look them up before you read this book because it is a very heavy book to read once again. It's just such an amazing book. I honestly don't even know what I can say without spoiling anything because I just want to read quotes to you about why I could relate so much to the book, but that's a spoiler and I don't want to do that because I don't want to ruin that reading experience for you guys. So if it's a book that just sounds like something you would be interested in, I would say go for it because I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised by the book because when I picked it up, I picked it up because I was reading it for a video where I was reading my best friend's favourite book and this is Chloe's from Books of Chloe's favourite book and I picked it up to read it and it then became one of my new favourite books of all time. It is probably right up there with Love, Simon in terms of my favourite books of all time. That's how much I love this and I definitely want to reread it this year because it's just such a beautiful book and I really cannot recommend it enough. But like I said, definitely look up the trigger warnings and stuff because it is not an easy read and I don't want you to just jump in thinking it's like a fun time or something because it's not. It deals with a lot of things. As I said, would just highly recommend it because it's just such a stunning, stunning book that I literally will cherish for so long because I just loved it so much. So yeah, they were my three favourite books of 2021 and honestly I need you all to read them because I just love them so much and I need everyone to read them and I just want to scream about them for the rest of my life because yeah, these were just the best books of 2021. I'm so glad that I read each and every one of them. That is going to be it for this video. Let me know down below in the comments what were some of your favourite books of 2021. Have you also read either of those three books and have you also loved them? I would love to know. Also don't forget to use the link in my description to go sign up to bookofthemonth.com and to get your first book for $9.99 using the code Let's Go. And also just thank you once again to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video. Other than that, that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it and I shall see you all next time in my next video. So goodbye guys. Come on.